yeah all right what's up guys how is it going uh just give me a second because i just got back to my crib so let me just like get my notebook and stuff but what's up what's up what's up yeah i'm <laughs> yeah i'm a minute late sorry um yeah but i had to like make sure that i was like fueled up ready to go so what I want to work on straight off the bat, because I've just been having um, one of my students, I've been working a lot with um, geometry. And uh, what's up, guys? What's up, Alicia? <laughs> I know I'm a minute late. Um, so, yeah, dude, you're at Costco Skills? That's my favorite store. Dude, nice. <laughs> I love Costco. All right, let's see here. I got some stuff for you guys. What's up, Geek Fleet? What's up, Tejas? Yeah, you guys like my clickbait thumbnail? <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Let's see. Oh, what's up, Henry? Okay. So, uh, I, yeah, I, I want to get... Um, oh, right. Let me stop streaming on my thing here. Okay. All right. So, I want to get um, some geometry problems because these are, like, really fun ones. I want to show you guys them. If I can locate them through my huge pile of papers. That's a good one. No. That's a good one. But no. Okay, here it is. The first one. So. Yeah, how's, how's everybody's summer doing, though? You guys all staying cool? Dude, was anybody affected by those, um, the question from last time? Oh, yeah, dude, April. Um... I've been mean to respond to your email. This weekend has been like tragic scheduling wise. It's just been so busy, but I will, I will get back to you and I'll explain that, that problem, April. I, I promise. It's just been like a crazy week guys. Okay. That's yeah, good enough. You guys know what a triangle is. Okay. Haha. <laughs> Uh, and then I'm not going to use a ruler for this. Go like that. And I'm going to go like that. Okay. So let's say A, B, C, D, E, and F. -A. And let's say that E, D is equal to D, F. That's equal to C, F. And let's say that F, A is equal to a b and that's equal to c b okay and then let's say this is this is the number i used before hey okay oh my god okay so am i back i i think <laughs> uh i think i am ah okay so um, and that died. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Yeah, that was, um, that was trash. Uh, <laughs> dude, why, why, why can't I have one stream that goes smoothly? Like, if it's not that, it's like, yeah, technical difficulties. Yeah, exactly. It's like, I can't get my internet. It's you're give right, you know the static is gonna come, you're like it's it's gonna come. So it's not just gonna be just the blackout there. It also is gonna be static static later. Yeah, I know, dude. I know these streams always got problems, dude. I got problems. I think it was just my internet, man. My internet was just being lame, and so I had to switch over to a concurrent internet channel. It was like really whack. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, Wiz is right. The static is coming. So, all right. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for holding on through the technical difficulties my uh setup is trash um, but it's okay because we got math um yeah there was a manhattan blackout and there was a blackout on the shsat stream all right so let's let's do it we're actually going to start it's actually happening we're actually gonna work um <laughs> no tony don't <laughs> if there's static i have no idea until people just start spamming the chat. Okay, so here is our problem. I fixed the problem. Um, yeah, and I guess the, the first part of the stream today, we are gonna be working on, um, 
Yeah, exactly, April. The first part of the stream we're going to be working on is triangles and finding triangles and using triangles inside of other triangles and just being creative with our triangle usage. Cool. Yeah, also leave a like if you like how unreliable my 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 stream <laughs> my stream is. <laughs> No, the stream did not finish, Phoenix. We're we're still we're still cracking here, bro. We're we're still doing our thing, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually happening. I'm sorry for the uh that like that's a seventy four, dude. My handwriting is just trash, Laurel. Yeah, that's a seventy four. Okay. Cool. Yeah, thanks for sticking around. Sorry guys. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, well, dude, I tutor people online. So, like, like if I have a tutoring session at 6 p.m., like the stream, 6 p.m., that's 3 p.m. right now. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, I was tutoring the SHSAT in New York, like, every single day, like, multiple sessions a day. Yeah, you're right. That's what it says. I'm in Cali for now. But uh, New York is calling, I will say that. It's blurry? Oh, no. I'm not dropping any frames. Oh, my God. Hold on. Okay, Jane's got a first answer. I got to write that down. It might be blurry for a second. Okay. All right, that should be better. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. No, Tony. <laughs> Stop. Oh, dude, Illuminati confirmed. Oh my God, I didn't even see that. <laughs> the whole time. You guys didn't know I'm in the... I'm like trying to get into the Illuminati. There's like a lot of forms you have to fill out. And so, yeah, I'm filling out those forms. Right, I'll give you guys like 30 more seconds because I was... Because the first part of the stream was such... <laughs> was chaos. All right, so, <laughs> dude, you don't know where the Illuminati sign-up is? Sure. What's up, Jennifer? Did I get you immortal? Yeah, I got you immortal. Phoenix. Yeah, I mean, Tony's right. It's going to be obtuse, right? And 120 is an obtuse angle. So how did you guys arrive at 120? That's, I guess, my question. Oh. Well, well, well. <laughs> Tenzin is like a 190 IQ. <laughs> It's called cheating. <laughs> Try it out. You'll get right answers all the time. Okay, so let's talk about this. So I actually threw you guys a curveball on this one. And none of you guys are right. None of you guys are right. How about that? So let's talk about the equilateral thing, right? You guys are assuming that this guy up in here is equilateral, right? However, it says that ED, this guy right here, is equal to DF this guy right here equal to CF, this guy right here. So you could assume that this is an elite equilateral triangle, but I mean, we can't assume. So redemption, what's the answer? Right, exactly, Tammy. Yeah, this is a harder problem than you would think, but I do got to appreciate the finesse. I, I really do appreciate that. Oh, yeah, that could be a handwriting thing. Ooh, nah, that's an E. E. So I, I, just, I just labeled the diagram for you guys. 
Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So just clarified that. So now that we know that, and now that my trash handwriting has been revealed, um, <laughs> then would you change your answer? Yeah, it's no sweat if you got it wrong. That's fine. Just give it a shot now. Redemption. The big, big brain on Jordan. Oh, yeah, doctor handwriting is really not even handwriting. Okay, well, April, that's the first step. If you add a bunch of information, then that you're like a huge step in front of everything. Yeah, this is SHSAT, Tenzin, for sure, 100%. I mean, would this be a difficult SHSAT problem? For sure. And if you spend longer than two minutes on it, you'd, you'd want to skip it for sure. But yeah, this is the concepts on this, totally fair game. Totally fair game, the concepts. And we'll do a bunch of problems like this so you guys can start getting used to seeing kind of advanced diagrams. Yeah, you're not going to see exactly this problem, but you will see, I mean, the, you'll, once I break down this problem, you'll be like, oh, I know, I know that concept. I know, I just didn't think of it like that. Yeah, dude, shod, that's the smartest thing because this is just a time waster. Yeah, I can give you like 30 extra seconds, Daphne. I got you. Yeah, or just guess and then come back and check it. Yeah, because there are definitely time wasters for sure. Uh, negative 30. <laughs> ne negative 32? <laughs> Um, I don't know. I think, uh, I don't want to say you're wrong, but <laughs> I don't know. I would just, I would just, <laughs> I would check your work. Just double check it. Yeah. This is eighth and ninth grade because what it is, is it's a very complicated diagram that uses simple concepts. Whereas we talked about graphing and circle and stuff like that. I think geek fleeks just memeing, but I'll put you down, bro. Um, yeah, I mean, we, we talked about graphing circles and functions and, you know, scientific, like all these different, like very advanced concepts, but the SHSAT, I've been doing this for a while, they're more likely to have simple concepts that are hidden. Okay, oh, Rusem's here, we can finally start. Oh, thank God. What's up, Andrew? All right, so here we go. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, Tenzin, so watch this, bro. So the only concept you need to know, there's two concepts you need to know to crush this, okay? The first concept is that the interior angles of a triangle equal 180. And the second concept you need to learn is just how isosceles triangles go down. I don't know, I'm not gonna pretend I know how to spell this. Isosceles, that's it. These are the only two things. Oh, what's up, Beatrix Shots? This is the only two things you know. Yeah, and Shot, the gridden ones are difficult because you can't guess as easy. So let's do this first concept that all three angles of a triangle have to equal 180. We know this is 90 and this is 74. So what's left over is 16. So we know if we're looking at this big triangle, 74 plus 90 plus 16 equals 180, we're good, right? So now we need to do the second concept, isosceles triangles. And whoa, we have one here. Now we can't assume that this is also equal, but we know that this and this are equal. And if this angle is opposite the side and the same length, is opposite this angle, then we know that our isosceles triangle is bent like this. And that's what this guy is. It's not like a normal up and down isosceles triangle, he's at an angle into the corner there. And so we know that guy's 16 and that guy's 16. And so now we have to do, go back to this concept, the 180. You see, it's just like picking these little concepts, that's 32, picking these little concepts back and forth and just having a mastery of them. Cool, so this guy up in here is 148. This guy will here will be 32. Oh, there is one more concept. I, I apologize. It's like when you have two angles on a line, that also equals 180. You kind of have to know that too. Right, um, 135. Okay, so we know that's 32 and that creates it. We have another isosceles triangle. We're back here. So if that's 32, then that's 32. 
And then we're in this third concept, which you guys I think are familiar with. And so it's gonna be 180 minus 32, 148, the crew. That's what's up. So yeah, keep in mind, it's just these three concepts over and over and over and over. We're gonna do another one, kind of like a redemption of a redemption. Um, it's not gonna be easy, but it's going to be very similar where you just kind of need to know these concepts and you can rock out some, some actually really, really difficult problems. Um, and when they, a lot of kids look at problems like that, they're like, nah, I can't do this, I can't do this. But really you can. Like, don't give up. Just like keep fighting, keep grinding. And like, what was April doing? Just filling in. Oh, yeah. Okay, I don't even need to draw this. It's drawn from this morning. Um, Jane, yeah, Jane might have a point there. Yeah, and uh, Shad, look at Wiz's explanation because um, it's just adding up to 148. All right, here's the second one. I'm so excited to give you guys this one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I delight so hard in giving you guys hard problems, but I could just, I don't know. I just think it's fun. And we can assume all of the lines are straight lines. And guys, keep in mind, keep in mind, you don't need to know any extra things. We're just dealing with triangle rules and angle rules, right? So... Yeah, just don't, don't like think that there's something else you need to know. Just try to pick this apart. Try to find your triangles, okay? Try to find your triangles. Oh, you find X. Sorry. Duh. Oh, wow. Okay, Jane, 30, ye. Oh, you're blind? Laurel, for someone who's blind, you do a really good job on these streams, like looking and seeing all these problems. <laughs> okay, here comes the homies, yep. Oh my God. Okay, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my God, everybody came in at once, what? Rodney, okay, Laurel. Yeah, Tenzin. I, oh, no, Tenzin, you're, you're with Daphne. Don't worry about it. Phoenix. And I feel like a lot of people just kind of just bump an answer. Geek. Shod. Oh, my gosh. Tejas. All right. So, all right. I got, all right. That's enough. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over this. So, remember, remember, something like this. You may be tempted. You're like, oh, I don't know the rules of a five-sided shape. How do we figure that out? And this is a weird star thing. Is this equal to this? How do we blah, blah, blah? We're just looking for our triangles, guys. Okay. So, let me zoom out. Oh, and good on time, dude. That was like only two minutes. Really nice, bros. All right, so where are our triangles, right? Look at this. All right, that's our first triangle right there, right? You see how I made it darker? And so it has to add up to 180. So because of that, this guy in the corner is 40. All right, that's the first kind of big step we can take. Now, the second step we need to take is to find another triangle, and we eventually need to get this guy. So let's see if we can make another triangle here, and you know what? We can. This bro right here. All three angles, one, two, three, need to add up to 180. So yeah, this guy in the corner is gonna be 30. Nice job, bros. Nice job. Right? So, <laughs> yeah. Well, dude, it doesn't matter how many steps you take. I, I tell my students all this time, like, if you can, like, slam your head on your desk and know what the right answer is, I would want you to do that 114 times. Like, whatever it takes to get to the right answer, do it. Like... If, it, if it's just straightforward, just plugging, filling out the diagram with information, like I think people were mentioning, oh, I, I figured out what this angle is, and then I had to figure out what this angle is, and then I got this guy, and then I finally got this guy. It's great, chill. Or if you're able to finesse it, you're like, ah, oh, I can just do that and that. That's cool too. You both get the same amount of points. So however you get to the answer, 
Like that's all that matters, guys. That's all that matters. All right, so let's do another one. All right, I think I'm kind of start thinking about what you guys want to work on because I got a couple more of these that I want to do with you, um, or just I guess show you guys so you guys are better, you know? Because I want you guys to, I want you guys to like totally destroy the SHSAT. That's like my. That would make, if you want to know what would really make me happy is if every single one of you guys absolutely destroyed the SHSAT. Um, yeah, even more than getting a thousand subs, which also, <laughs> also is my goal. So uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, tell your friends, we're gonna be studying all summer, you know, uh, oh, all that stuff. Okay, <laughs> I'm sure you guys have heard it. All right. Uh, you're gonna have to ignore those little bumps. That's just my dude. My ruler, like, look at it's been like there's like chips of it missing. Wait, where is the really bad side? Yeah, look at this. There's like chips of it missing, just because I've used it for things other than a ruler. <laughs> I've used it. <laughs> I've used it as a tool um, when in need, you know. Okay, so something like that up in there. Then about a little something like this here, and then. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks, bros. Thanks, Rusim. Thanks, Shad. Yeah, definitely, definitely. What am I going to do after November? Tenzin, I'm thinking about, like, really going hard in the paint on an SAT channel. But that's, I mean, compared to the amount of work this is, and I'm not, like, a millionaire or anything, it would, the SAT channel would be, like, really, really hard to make. It would just take a lot of work. But, I mean, it would help kids, so maybe I'll do it. I don't know. Um, let's see, where should I put this? Um, okay. <laughs> All right, bros. Yeah, thanks, Tejas. All right, I'll give you guys like three minutes on this one. So go for it. Remember, look for your triangles, okay? Oh, Rusim, that is so tragic. Why not, dude? Where are you going to go? You have like a <laughs> Tyler vs. T-Series. <laughs> oh, Laurel, that cracks me up. Uh... Oh, you're on vacation. Uh, I was thinking about streaming on the weekends. Uh, I don't know. Oh, dude, that's trap. Well, dude, you'll have a lot of live streams to watch when you get back. That's for sure. And then you can just skip around to where I have problems and skip past all the static and me not being able to stream like a reasonable person. Okay, here we go. Okay. First couple answers in the bank, but take your time, guys. I'll give you another minute. Okay. This is a hard problem, for sure. I mean, this if you see this, this would be the hardest SHSAT problem on the, the test. For ninth grade, this would be a hard one. But for eighth grade, this would be a very hard one. But if you can do this, you can do anything, bro. Yee. Okay, so for those of you who are still confused, and even those for you who are like checking your answer or whatever, uh, Laurel's in here too. Of course, Laurel's a stud. Okay, so there are only some, oh, Rodney, I got you, boy. I got you, Rodney. All right, so, oh, Rachel, I didn't get you. Where's your answer, yo? Oh, 20, I got you. Okay. I just looked around. <laughs> yeah, I just cheated on the guy next to me. Pretty good strategy. He uh, failed the test, so I did too. 
<laughs> that happened to a friend of mine. He was sitting next to this girl in Spanish, and she kept copying off of him. So he purposely failed a test so that she would fail it too. <laughs> Dude, it was so funny when she got her test back. She was so triggered. Okay, now that I got Neil in here, we can go. Okay, so again, there's not that many concepts at play. Here are the two concepts we're going to be playing with. We're going to be playing that the internal angles of a triangle, of course, add up to 180. You guys are pretty boss at that. And we're going to play with this concept where opposite angles are going to be equal to each other. So if that's going to be 120, this is going to be 120. You know what I'm saying? That's the con those are the two concepts we're going to be playing with. You know what I'm talking about? So, let me get a different color pen so I look fancy. Not that I don't already look fancy. Fancy -er. Okay, chill. Here we go. <sighs> yeah. Okay, so first triangle, we're going to look at this big triangle, right? And we're going to utilize this concept. Okay, the 180. This is 80. This is 80. So, that's 160. So, what's left is 20. So we're already starting to fill out this diagram, which is awesome, because then there's a bunch of other angles. We can then look at this triangle right here, right? Well, this adds up to 50, so this guy here has got to be 130. I mean, that doesn't help us totally, but it kind of helps us. Um, what else? Well, we have this triangle here, and like this is how I did the problem originally. I'm not like always like crushing straight to the answer. Like sometimes I'm like, oh boy, I don't know. But if this, we're looking at this triangle right here, then this guy's got to be 50. And if that's 50, then this guy's got to be 50. Okay, now we're cruising. Um, and if this is 50, then we know that, oh, I guess we do, again, have to use this straight line thing, three concepts, whatever. You guys know all these concepts, though. So this is going to be 130 up in this, and this is going to be 130 up in DS. Okay, now we have this triangle here. Bang, bang, bang. 130 plus 20 is 150, so we're left with 30 over the rip. Bang. So now, three angles on a half circle, and you gotta have a center of your half circle. You got to, where all the lines come out of. Isn't that interesting, this is a radius? And the, well, we'll talk about it later. So we know that this is gonna add up to 180, 130 plus 30, 160, so we know that X is 20. Nice, nice. <laughs> okay, so that's how this one goes down. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> okay, so that's how this one goes down. All right, let's do, uh, do I have one more for you guys? I think I might, hold up. That might have been it. No. Uh, Oh, I could do that one. Okay, this one's going to be chill. That's cool. So, Andrew, if you didn't get an answer, dude, that's chill, man. Just, like, later, go back and watch this stream and, like, see if you can catch it. You know what I'm saying? And if you can't, like, I know I still need to respond to April, and I totally will get back to you, but shoot me an email, and I'll, like, I'll, like, break it down for you guys for sure. Oh, thanks for the sub, Ramona. All right. So, give me a second to draw this one because I need to... I really need to unleash my artistic side on this one, so there's a little bit of meditation involved. Um, wait, okay. Who? Okay. Um, why not make it harder? I'm gonna make it harder. Um, you guys deserve it. All right, that's nice. Wow, absolutely elegant. Okay, um, well, something like this. Back to the okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So, all right. So let's say. Wait. Oh, I should have chose a different letter, but um, I'll just change it to Q. Hell yeah. Okay. Point Q is the center of this semicircle. Okay. 
Um, let's say this guy. Wait, where's my page? Where's my page? Let's. Oh, okay. So let's say this dude up in here is 50 degrees. Wait, did I just totally draw this wrong? Ah. Uh, dang. Hold on, bros. I drew this wrong. I was like hyping my drawing skills so much that I. I messed up. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Feel like a loser. All right. I'm still gonna do a half circle though. That's that's still what's up. That is definitely still what's up. Okay. Um. Wow. Ah, oh, so close to being beautiful, but that's okay. We still love you, half circle. Okay. So there's that. Then I want to do this. Okay. This is looking way better. And for those of you who come to my stream a lot, I'm hoping you guys will solve this sooner rather than later, because I know we've done something almost exactly like this before, and I want you to pull that knowledge, okay? There we go. Okay. Oh, wow. Absolute, wow. Absolutely incredible. Okay. So we'll say this guy's up in here, and this guy's up in here. Here we have one Q. Okay, bros. Um, your math teacher says you should never do math and pen. Well, tell your math teacher I should I, that you should never do math needing an eraser. How about that? Um, oh my God, James Charles is like trying to be a gamer now. That's like kind of weird. <laughs> I saw that thumbnail too. I was like, what is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Let's do Tammy's question after that. Yeah, I mean, I honestly don't have anything against. What's that sign? Oh, it's an X, bro. It's just a dot, and that's an X. What's X? X. Yeah, and I always work in pen. I don't know why. I just think it looks cooler. It looks better on the camera, at least. B. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tenzin, you got it, bro. We'll see if he's right. <laughs> uh... Oh my gosh, okay. Yeah, it's... <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right. Um, I guess we'll see who's right. <laughs> um, okay, so we're gonna go over this. So, okay, before we go over this, sorry, hold on, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta calm down here. All right. So before we go over this, we got two concepts at play here. The first concept is the concept that we've talked about before with isosceles triangles. That's number one. The second concept we have to know is Radii? Okay. So what I'm basically saying is that um, what I'm basically saying is that radius, you know, because this Q to the edge of this half circle is technically a radius. And this Q to the edge of this half circle is still technically the radius. So since this is a radius and since this is a radius, then that means that they're both the same, right? 
Uh, so I could then draw a third line. And that's a radius, right? I just drew another radius. And so we know this is equal to this is equal to this. And if I were just to look at this triangle straight up, I got two sides that equal each other. I have two radiuses that equal each other. Know what I'm saying? So just like this, they're opposite. So that means that this guy's 50 up in here. Okay, oh, again. I always forget that there's three concepts. I try to be too cool about it. Triangle equals 180. So if this is 50 and 50, that's 100. So that means this angle, just from my fake line until the edge is 80. Cool, now we're looking at this one. This is equal, this is equal. So that means this guy's 60 and now, oh, I guess that's an equilateral triangle. So you have that 60 plus 80, the answer that nobody got, 140. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> wow jane got it actually okay all right that's nice man that's nice yeah the answer is 140 tenzin you're wrong um the answer was not b um but very good very good job okay so i see in the chat people want to work on geometry and they want to work on i saw that well who, who dropped that question yeah i know i think jane got it at like the end or something but uh, let's see what that question ice cream store one of three different flavors one of three different syrups three different toppings oh okay yeah it's going to be a big number okay we can do combinations oh that was a corrected answer yeah then nobody got it <clears throat> okay hmm. so should we do some algebra here do, do, do. Tammy's question. All right, Daphne, I got you. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of break it down. I mean, it, it is a word problem, but I don't really want to write the whole thing. So, And so what we need to what we need to do, there is an addition of three different toppings. What is the total number of different sundays that can be made? All right. Well, Tammy, I got to I got to ask you, right? Because if it's total number of ice creams that you can make, that number is going to be massive. Now, if it's total number of ice creams with one flavor, one syrup, and one topping then that's a problem that's very SHSAT. But if you're just saying how many, well, what if I get, there's three flavors. There's like flavor one, two, and three. That's not a three. Then what if I just, my first ice cream is just flavor one. My second ice cream is flavor one and two. My third ice cream is flavor one and three. My fourth ice cream is flavor two, three, and one. My fifth is one, one, three, and two. Like there has to be more constraints on it than just that. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, the book does have that. What book is that, by the way? Because, I mean, if you're just saying how many combinations, what if you get ice cream with no syrup and all the toppings? What if you do ice cream with just syrup, not the toppings? My guess is that I can drop the explanation and it's not 7 or 27. Well, yeah, because it's very un unclear what, what they want out of this question. If it's just one flavor one syrup and one topping and that's a combination that we can do and that's gonna be pretty close to 27 but that's just me okay <laughs> grade night from andrew kim you know i don't know that book i gotta write my own book dudes i don't know what i'm doing okay so let me just show you how combinations work in kind of a basic way because that's basically what tammy's question kind of nations hits at so let's just do a very simple one and then we'll bust down and like show Tammy's kind of better problem here. Okay, so let's talk about if there are uh, two flavors and just two toppings. 
just because we want to graph or let's make it three toppings okay just so we can do this the long way and then i'll show you the shortcut for sure so let's say it's flavor one and we have this topping we have the second topping and we have the third topping i'll make it flavor a a and b and this is one two and three so then our second one could be one two three and so how many ice creams total could we make one two three four five six okay so all we're doing is we're just multiplying this two this three into the combinations ye so with this one that's also what it'd be i mean and everybody is coming down really hard on 27 and yeah that's the answer because you have three potential flavors three syrups and three toppings so i mean i could make a chart i mean maybe i will just to be kind of cool put on my uh please stand by page so let's just do the, the flavors the flavors i'm gonna spell it like i'm from england a b and c and let's say these syrups syrups are one two and three and let's say the toppings are um triangle square circle i really should not have chosen those <laughs> Okay, so let's do it. If we have flavor A, we can have this syrup on it, or this syrup on it, or this syrup on it. And we can have, oh, I regret this so hard. Circle, triangle, square, circle, triangle, square, circle. Okay, so notice, just for flavor A, just for flavor A, bruh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So yeah, I could make a chart for B. Yeah, I can make a chart for C. Okay, so what is this book saying? Since there are three flavors, three flavors, there is a total combination. There's an additional option of topping. We have 27 ice cream syrup in total. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> that explanation is... <laughs> yeah, I mean, if they had said that in the question, oh, because there's three toppings and the fourth topping, so there are four, what? I don't know. I, <laughs> yeah, I think, I think that's just a very lazy question, and I've given you guys a lot of lazy questions, and none of my questions are that lazy. Um, yeah, only, only, ooh, ooh, only the finest quality questions on my live stream. Just, ooh, just the absolute finest. Uh, and they're all original. I don't, I don't steal, okay? That's something you guys should know. Because um, I get my questions stolen so often. Like, I get students being like, I've seen this. I'm like, who? They're like, my tutor. I was like, your tutor is a thief. <laughs> okay, so some algebra maybe. I got something interesting that might be cool for you guys to try. Let me just give me a second to like pull it up. Um, wait, hold up. Okay, let's see if my Wi-Fi hates me still. It might. Yeah, where is the static? By the way, hasn't there been static yet, or just a complete meltdown? Or maybe I'm the one that's gonna melt down. It's kind of hot here, bros. Ooh, I got some really good questions for you guys lined up. Some really hard ones. If y'all, if y'all ready for it. Huh, let me see. Okay. Ugh. No, that's not what I want. Go back. Give me this one. Yeah, okay. No. <laughs> Give it to me. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, I wonder if I just straight up have it. Yeah, I do. Oh, sick. I hate writing. Oh, I don't hate it. I shouldn't say that. But all right. Where do you guys go. You guys were asking for algebra. Asking you shall receive. Two minutes. Minute, minute and a half. How about that? Minute and a half. Listen to your listen to your heart. Follow your dreams on this one, guys. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna leave my uh. Review, review on that book. Uh, yeah, I saw 
Actually, I saw your suggestion. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, finally, oh, finally is the static, static coming. Oh, really? Oh, really? Finally. finally. Yay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> dude, dude. Uh, you guys you are guys awesome. Are awesome. Thank, Thank you for, 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 not, for not hating my stream, my stream because of how bad my equipment is. Equipment is. Jordan with a quick answer. Take your time on this. You guys got another 30 seconds. Henry with the answer. Red Possible. What's up, Red Possible? Well, April's got the four over here. Uh, Jane. Geek. Laurel. Uh, too late, April. Too late. <laughs> Andrew, check your answer, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, dude, Andrew, you already said four, bro. I cannot change it. No, I can't. <laughs> I can't. It's like I'm I'm legally not allowed to change your answers, guys. I'm not. Like they'll come arrest me. Oh, I have Rusum here. Okay. All right. So let's go through this one. Good job, bros. Um, so this is what they call a system of equations. So let's oops. Oops. Okay, so let's go through this. All right, Joe and Ted have the same number of beads. Wow. Joe's going to double the amount of beads he has. Ted is going to triple the amount of beads he has. And together, they'll have 20 beads. That's it. So, oh, is there another, is there more static? Are you for real? <laughs> Red possible, we could do that question. Oh, sorry for the static guys. Sorry. I'm trying my best. I mean, kind of, but not really, but kind of. Ah, dang. Way. We. Okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's let's do this up. So hopefully it's just not still staticky. And if it is, whatever you can you can see that. So t equals j. So everyone, I, whenever I see a t, I can put a j in there. So we know three j plus two j equal twenty. Five j equal twenty. Divide both by five. J equals four. And so a lot of people wrote that. But you got swerved, right? How many beads total did they start with? See what I'm saying? Oh, you guys were, you guys were trolling on my static. <laughs> so triggered. <laughs> okay, yeah. So it's just how many beads they have total. So yeah. Um, that's like, that's how this one goes down. So a lot of people had eight. Um, yeah, for sure. Okay. Some more algebra, maybe? Let's see. You know, I actually might... Oh my gosh, only 140 questions? What? Dude, I do that much in a live stream in a week. 
whatever. <laughs> I'm like doing it all for free. I'm so dumb. Okay. Um, let's see what else I can find here. Um, cause I, I want to like pull up this, uh, uh, yeah, I'll go to the grail there. Math grail. Let me just figure out how this would work. Um, Ooh, that doesn't work out. Hold on. It's a hard problem. Hold up. Oh, I see. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Do. We'll do. Do 12. Wait, wait, wait. 12 times 12. Okay. Okay. I'll just figure it out. Okay, here's your question. I'm gonna give you guys a minute and a half to pop off on it. Let's go. So while you guys are working, I just wanna talk about Rusem's point here. There shouldn't be experimental questions on the SHSAT. I'm kind of agreeing with you. The reason why they have experimental questions is because they want to have the ability to go, eh, we're not gonna count that one. They're gonna be like, if like nobody gets a question right, they're gonna go, oh yeah, I, that was that was definitely an experimental one. We're not gonna count it. So I think that's partly why they do it. Subject now. Mm -hmm. Forgot that do. Dude, what uh, was this problem not hard? Why is that? Why is everybody getting the same answer? <laughs> oh my god. Do I even need to go over this? Should I just not go over this? So, all right, Laurel, to answer your question, if you get all 10 experimental math questions right, that makes no difference. You can get all 10 of them wrong, right? Oh, no, no, no. That's actually on purpose, um, Tenzin. Andrew up in this. Yeah, I'm not going to go over this one. This one was just way too easy. <laughs> you see? <laughs> Dude, it's like I've you guys have gotten so good that whenever I give you like a normal SHSAT problem, you guys just BTFO it um, so quickly. Okay, let me give you another one that I think might gas you guys a little bit. And this one is from an old, old, old SHSAT test. So this is not a Tyler original. Um, or maybe I should just give you a Tyler. No, I'm not. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna give you this old question. 
Um, this is from like yeah last year or the year before, so don't don't sweat it. Okay, but it is a good question, but I think it's a hard one too. Oh, this one is so hard. I'm so excited for you guys to freak out about it. <laughs> Even when I came across this one for the first time, I was like, what? <laughs> and I do this all the time, so I can only imagine. Um, wait, hold up. Stop it. It's just weird, but whatever. Hold up. Okay. All right, dudes, get ready. Oh, yes, dude. Yeah, please, if you're bored, please follow my channel. That would be awesome. Okay, so here's the question, dudes. Um, good luck. Um, cool. Rock and roll. I'll give you guys like three minutes for this because this one sucks, but you can do it. A car is traveling 55 miles per hour, and uh, one mile equals 5,280 feet. Which of the following calculations would give the car's speed in feet uh, per second? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> See you, Red Possible. <laughs> yes, thanks, Geo. You're the man. Fifteen, Shod, you're... <laughs> you do really... You realize this is multiple choice, or... Nah? <laughs> I'm interested to see if you guys can pop off on this. I mean, it looks like you guys are all getting the same answer, but who knows? Isn't it crazy that I'm in California right now and you guys are in New York? Oh, nice. Okay. I'm going to go over this one just because everybody seems to be getting the right answer. And either you're getting the right answer or you're so confused, you're like holding back tears. Um, so let's go over it. So basically the concept is multiplying by one. And I love doing parallel concepts just to show you guys what's up. So let's say I have 12 inches and I wanna turn it into feet, right? And this is so obvious because everybody knows 12 inches are in a foot, but how do we mathematically get there? Because this is obvious, but this is not obvious. So let's just look mathematically how we'd get there. Well, we start with 12 inches and what we want to do is multiply it by one, okay? And what do I mean by that? Well, one foot equals 12 inches. 
So when I put one foot over 12 inches, that's the same thing as me writing three over three or X over X or 15 over 15. It's just all of these are just gonna equal one. So all I'm doing is multiplying it by one, right? So when I actually do and break this down, 12 inch times one foot over 12 inch, well then look at this bros, not only does the 12s cross out, but the inches cross out and we're left with our answer. All right, so let's show how we could do this one. Um, okay, so we are at 55 miles for every one hour. And if you've been in the stream before, every time you see the word per, that means draw a division sign, right? Because if I say price per pound, that's gonna be the price over the poundage. You know what I'm saying? So 55 miles per one hour, okay? So now we're gonna try to get it into feet per second. We want feet up here and hours or and seconds down there. So let's do the feet first. So I'm gonna multiply this by one. And we know that 5,280 feet equals one mile, right? So I'm gonna combine this. And what I get is 55, I'm gonna use MI for miles because I got lazy and feet, okay? And we have one hour and we have one mile. Well, this mile is gonna cross out with this mile. So what we're left with is 55 times 5280 feet. And I'm gonna drop that one over one hour. Okay, so that's our numerator. That's straight off the rip, okay? And then what we're gonna do is try to get rid of this hour. So we're gonna multiply it by one and we know 60, oh, oh psych. We know one hour because we need to cross it is 60 minutes. So we're gonna cross this out and cross that out. And what we get is 55 times 5280 feet over 60 minutes. Now we're gonna turn this into seconds and we know that one minute is 60 seconds. So that minute and this are gonna cross out. And so what we get is that five, five, and I know this problem's so long, dudes, I'm sorry, but. Fair game, this is fair game. 60 times 60, that's not an answer choice, but if we multiply the bottom there, yeah, we're gonna get B, that answer choice everybody came through. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, Tenzin, it starts at six, <laughs> or <laughs> actually whiz, yeah, it starts at 602, or whenever I can get, Every, whenever I can get together, you know what I mean? Because whatever. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see. Yeah, dude, you guys totally crushed that question. That's really good stuff. Let me give you another one just because I think it's cool. Um, do, 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 do. Ooh, that's a good one. Um, some of these are so easy. I like am embarrassed to give them to you because I know you'll crush them so hard. Ooh, this is a really good one. All right, hold up. Let me, let me, um, E4, A, okay. All right, so give me like two minutes and let me write out this long word problem for you, bro. Yeah, and Tenzin, don't worry about people being faster because all that matters is that you get your right answer. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, okay, so let me write out this problem real quick. Um, this is gonna take forever. Ugh, I already messed up. Dang it. <laughs> okay, hold on. All right. Uh, 
Um, okay. Oh my god, my hand is dying. All right. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go, bros. I'm going to give you guys like a minute and a half to bust out. Here we go. Yeah, I'm going long, bros. Going long. Taking it to the limit. Jennifer, who is your favorite YouTuber? Chances are you probably are smarter than them. <laughs> I recycle my paper, bros. I recycle that. Yeah, dogs with money. Dogs with money can, can shop too. They're allowed to buy stuff. Oh, I didn't see your answer, addictive. Oh, well, I didn't see the first one, so. Dude, when it rains, it pours. You guys all come in at the same time. It's like there's one brain. Oh, study till I pass out. What's up, dude? What are dogs with money? <laughs> what are, like, duh. What are dogs with money? Obviously dogs that have money. <laughs> I don't know, man. I just get bored when I do problems, so I want to, like, make it interesting for myself. Uh, yeah, I don't know how long I'm going to go today. Who knows? Okay. You guys crushed this one. I thought this one would be hard. But you guys crushed it. Ah. Okay. Well, should I even go over this? I'm going to go over this, but I'm, I'm, let's, just, let's just call it time here because you got... <laughs> All right. Okay, so let's go over this. So basically what we're using is we're using ratios in this, right? So we know that there's three types of customers and there's a 211 security cards because it's very VIP, obviously. Um, if the ratio of customers to guards is seven to one. So we know that customers to the guards is going to be seven to one. And whenever they give you a ratio, just like every time they give you a fraction, like it's going to be the most reduced form of it. So this is the reduced ratio and we know as far as security guards go, go the unreduced number is that guy right there so 211 so how many total customers are there because if the ratio of customers to security guards is that and i have to multiply this by 211 
That means I'm going to have to multiply this by 211 to get the unsimplified ratio. So 211, 7, 7, 7, 14. So 1477. A lot of people stop there. This would be an answer choice, but you guys know better, right? Because there are 455 old people and we are subtracting them away. Two, two, zero, one. You guys are awesome. Nice, 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 nice. Really, really nice. Okay, cool. So yeah, that's how this one goes down because when they give you the simplified ratio, a lot of the times they just want the unsimplified ratio, which is like, okay, <laughs> okay. Um, let me give you another one. <gasps> Ooh, that's a good one. Um, no, actually. Hmm. Do, do, do. These are so easy. Hmm. What happened to my SAT channel? It's going to keep popping. So subscribe to the SAT channel if you haven't already. Once the test, like once October comes and goes, I'm going to be like on that SAT channel for sure. And yeah, I mean, my this whole channel is SHSAT. So you know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, okay, this is a really good one. Okay, let me give you this hard one just for Rusum. Yeah, April, let me get back to you on that. I've just basically this weekend, I was like, I don't want to leave my house or talk to anybody. So I didn't really do any work, but I will get to you on your question, April. I swear, I promise. Okay. Yeah, dudes. Well, that's what that's what's up, man. You go to like one of those really expensive test prep places. All they're going to do is just teach you really hard stuff. And that's what I'm doing to you. So it's like, I mean, you guys don't need to pay my hourly rate. I'm just doing this because I, you know, you guys got the motivation. I got the motivation. Let's go. Uh, give me a second. Let me like write out this problem. What what also is kind of crazy is like, you guys are all in this stream together. I, I'm almost done with the problem. I just thought of it and I, I can't help myself. You guys are all in the stream together. And then a lot of you are going to be in um, classes together next year in specialized high schools. It's kind of crazy. It's like you guys already met each other. You guys just met each other. You guys are already getting used to working with each other. I don't know. I think that's cool. Because I really do believe a lot of you guys are going to get in. Now, a lot, you know, some of you aren't, but that's fine. Like, I definitely didn't have the best schooling growing up, but I'm doing way better than some of my friends who went to Harvard and stuff. So it's like, it's it's you. But I mean, I, I don't know. What you guys all know that. Whatever. Okay, here's the question. <laughs> Yeah, you're going to be like, yeah, if someone raises their hand and uh, oh, whatever, let's get into this. All right, bros, I'm going to give you guys uh, three minutes. You got it. Let's go. Or I'm going to see if you guys can do it in a minute and a half. Let's rock. Um, I see that question, Tejas. 
Tenzin, that's a um, or Tejas, that's a um, that's a ACT question. Like that has a zero percent chance of being on your SAT or SHSAT. <laughs> what is the point? <sighs> that actually is a good question, Tammy. But that again is an SAT question. Okay, um, dude, you guys are so fast. It like takes me longer to write these problems than it does for you fools to do them. I guess you're not fools, you guys are geniuses. But who knows, maybe you guys are wrong, I don't know. Not green and not made of plastic. Right. Oh. Tammy, I already got you for an answer, yeah? Okay, yeah. All right, so that's two minutes. Let's talk about this one. So what makes this one so difficult is just the excess of information, right? This is like classic bros because it's like they overload you with information and they're just trying to make everything confusing. Like the signal is lost in the noise. That's what they call it. So at a yoga studio, 26 mats, 10 are green. So I love doing charts like this. If you've been on my stream before, you know this is how I roll. These are all of the mats, right? And we know the 10 of them about here. Where are my pens? My pens go. It's a work. So we know that 10 of them are green. Okay. So then that means that 16 of them are not green. All right, so now let's talk about plastic. So 15 are made of plastic. So we know that seven, we know that 15 are made of plastic, and then that would mean 11 are not, okay? So out of the green ones, we know that seven of them are made with plastic, which means that three of them aren't, okay? And then how many plastic do we have left? Well, eight because 15 minus that seven that are green are eight, are eight that are plastic, and we need uh, 16 total, so then that means eight aren't. Okay, so then the question asks, if selected randomly, what's the probability Matt, Matt picks is not green and not made of plastic? Well, these are all green, so see ya. These are not green, but eight of them are made of plastic, eight are not made of plastic. So probability is what we want over the total number. We reduce. Bruh. That's what's up. Yeah. Ye. So that's how this one goes down. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Eight out of 26 is right, but keep in mind you got to simplify that guy. Okay, um, maybe we should do a redemption on this one. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a redemption on here. Um, okay. <laughs> I don't know what your answer is, Skills. I'll write your name, but I don't know what your answer is. All right. Let's see. Okay, so let me let me give me a second. I'm going to whip you guys up a, a redemption problem, okay? So just keep in mind, you got to categorize. Um, how would this even work? Um, there's this and come on.
Okay. So let me whip this out for y'all. All right. Oh, you got it correct? Nice. Nice skills. Yeah, let me scroll up. Uh, can people explain what a redemption problem is to, uh, to Tanzan? Um, did you get it, skills? Nice. Dude, good job, skills. Way to play. Okay. Yeah, also, I'm looking for a new, uh, a new mobile app to play. I'm kind of, like, done with PUBG. I don't know. I'm playing this other one right now, but it kind of sucks. Um, all right. Then it would be. Okay, hold on. Let me just make sure this is right here. Okay. So. Okay, here it is. Redemption time. All right, so put on your hats. Let's go. <laughs> okay, here we go. So here's your question. Minute and a half, let's rock. Uh, answer your question, Jennifer. I don't know. I feel like 20 is pretty high for me. 23 is probably pretty high. I think we hit 30 today, which is sick. Um, it's and I like 25 likes, which is awesome. Thank you guys. But like tomorrow, it's like they always push my likes down. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, make sure to subscribe if you aren't already aren't already subscribed. I'm trying to get to 1K, bros. Okay, give you guys like 30 more seconds. Let's go. Thanks, Shad. All right, yeah, do you, man. See your skills. I'll give you guys 30 more seconds just because I was talking. That's okay, Tammy. We'll hit these up. All right, dudes. So let's kick it. Uh, 
All right, so looks like a lot of you guys redeemed yourself. I'm super happy. That's, that's what's up because it doesn't matter how many times you fail. All that matters is that you get up and you keep grinding. Um, okay, Venna, what's up, Venna? Wiz. Oh, wow, people are coming in with a different answer. Ooh, okay. Um, Phoenix, Wiz. All right, cool, let's hit it. All right, so I'm gonna draw a diagram for all 10 dags. Bang. And we know four of them are male. So this is gonna be our male down here. There's gonna be a female up top. And we know that four of them total are male. That means six of them are female. All right, cool, we're cruising. We're absolutely cruising. Now we know that seven dogs are wearing shades. That means three dogs, no shades. Okay, so we gotta keep that in mind. Now these are two different sets of variables we gotta keep fresh, right? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are cracking me up okay so if four dogs are females wearing shades so we got to crack into the female section here and so we know four of them are with shades okay so that means the rest the two of them no shades okay so we've accounted for four of these shades and two of these no shades so now we need to continue further because we know that we need a total of, wait, actually one. Meep, meep, meep. And three. My math is trash right now. Okay. So that means that the three dogs with shades can't be females because only four dogs are females wearing shades. So that means the rest of the homies wearing shades are male dogs. So we know that three are wearing shades down here. I should make this line much more definitive here. And then the rest, one, no shades. Okay, so this is the breakdown. This is how you break it down, okay? So, yeah, I mean, if you can get here, then, um, then you're done, because then you can answer your question. So, I mean, I kind of bust, I just kind of went through it really quickly. Uh, sometimes I do them too fast. So if you guys have questions, you can hit me up via email. But once you're here, you're done. So. How many male dogs with money are not wearing shades? One. Nice. And I feel like you guys over here probably did all the work correct, but you might have answered for this guy right here, wearing shades, when it says not wearing shades. Yeah. So I don't know. That's just something to think about. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, one thing I do have to admit, just because, you know, you got to admit when you're lazy. <sighs> Bros, I was so lazy. I did not add my, I did not add the floors to DeepMind yet. Um, but I will, I will really, really soon. Okay. Um, but I just was like this weekend, I was like, you're going to do two things. You're going to sleep and you're going to eat frozen pizza. And dude, I did both of them. So, I mean, I, I, I accomplished my goals, but my goals were really bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay so yeah this is the end of the stream yes i know there it is it's happening <laughs> guys i am i'm gonna get back to you april i promise um but if you guys have any questions anything even about the stream about some of the questions in the stream just about a shsat book you're reading you don't get you guys can hit me, up, hit me up via email and this will go straight to my phone. So even when I'm just kicking it, I can like answer a question really quick. You know what I'm saying? It like boosts me the notification. So yeah, here's the website. On the website, there's so much stuff to do, dudes. I'm like, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys can like, you know, get some math done, play the games on it, take the diagnostic on it. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna be getting rid of Geometry Swamp just because the, the program I made it with is like not cheap or whatever. So I don't think I wanna get rid of it, but yeah, I don't know. So yeah, um, yeah, really good stream today, guys. Um, really good stuff. Um, just keep in mind when you're looking at triangle problems, where's my, wait, hold up. When you're looking at triangle problems like this, something that's very complicated, it's just three concepts over and over and over, right? <laughs> It's the same thing with this. We just got the same concepts over and over and over. So keep that in mind when you guys are um, when you guys are working. If something is super hard, um, chances are that you know 
really it's just a bunch of easy concepts stacked on top of each other um yeah so yeah all right i'm gonna go i'm gonna go i'm gonna figure out i'm gonna eat something i think it's i think it's time to eat guys i don't know it's like it's dinner time uh or just snack time <laughs> okay so yeah i'm out of here really good stuff today guys um yeah oh i gotta shill i gotta shill my classes take my classes from my site um you can just take one class or two classes or whatever um play deep mine get to the bottom of it while it's still short right now it's 58 levels okay it's going to be a lot deeper than that real soon i just haven't i can't figure out how to make the third dungeon it's so hard. I have two dungeons. I got a dungeon at 25. I got a dungeon at 50. And then 75. I'm like, what am I going to do? Because it's like, I'm not very good at programming, but I'm okay. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, dude. So, I'm going to out of here. Like always, I'm just going to leave the chat for a little bit so you guys can kick it. But I'm out. So, peace out.